Aside from the plays, the Junior Olympic Fast Pitch Tournament may be the biggest softball tournament in the state of North Dakota. Teams all over the state battling in Bismarck and many different age brackets over the next three days. Starting us off is the 18 through 16B division. Beulah Pride and Fargo Fire. Taryn Scherhammer on the mound for Beulah, pitching through four shutout innings to start. A pair of strikeouts then the third. Beulah leading 11 nothing at this point. Looking to add more. This is Kennedy Shook. Base hit up the middle. A run comes home on the RBI. And Beulah up by a dozen. Beulah moves on with a 13-1 win. Move to the Williston Boom facing the Wapiton Riptide. And here comes the boom for Williston, bringing the power in their opening matchup. Madison Spocker goes the other way for his solo shot. 3-2 Williston. A few batters later, a runner on. Taylor Washburn with a deep fly to left. No one is going to get to that one. Two-run homer for Washburn. Williston, er, Williston with the huge third inning, 19-3. Minot Storm in action facing the Cash Trailblazers. Game tied at four in the third. A bloop lands at the feet of Minot's Delaney Tweed. Only play is the first. The go-ahead run comes home for Cass, 5-4. Now 6-4 Cass. Minot trying to get something going. Brooke Anderson with a ball down the third baseline. Just beats the throw to second. But is stranded there as Minot cannot drive her in. Minot falls to Cass, 9-5. How about Central Dakota opening up with West Fargo United down 4-0 in the first. Central Dakota with a nice answer. The ball's going to get away and heads up base running by Abby Lowen. She gets her team on the board, but West Fargo brought the bats, getting the productive outs to drive in runs. 5-1 with the RBI grounder. Central Dakota falls in this one 13-2. Staying with softball news, Century hires their new softball coach, Darby Krivorchka, will take over six years as an assistant with the program and a Century grad.